Hey guys, so today we're gonna learn how to teach your kid coding. Today I'm gonna teach mine, right here. We're gonna look at what it takes to teach your own kid how to code. Remember this, it's always easy to teach somebody else's kid. You know when you're a tutor and you're teaching somebody else's kid? It's much easier because you don't have any vested interest. <laughs> uh, but when you try to teach your own kid, your emotion will run wild because when they don't That's get it, so you get true. frustrated and Very your, frustrated. your parental emotions start to kick in. Go crazy, basically. <laughs> so we, today we're going to look at how to get started, what to do, what not to do. And the end, we're also going to look at some resources and some programming languages that are comfortable uh, for teaching your kid um, at a particular age group. They could be like, you know, a five-year-old kid to... 18 year old kid we can look at which language to uh, pick why not three-year-olds you don't want to teach it to your own <laughs> however there is a book for uh there is a book for teaching your kid uh javascript for javascript for babies uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> like right. think you guys don't want that baby to live what yeah thing? welcome to texas tutorials <laughs> All right, so let's understand who we are teaching first. So this is my daughter. She is uh, in the middle school. No, I'm get going into high school. Okay, she's going into high school. And no quotations, I'm seriously going into okay. high school. I am, I graduated. Okay, this is my way of saying things, okay. The programming wise, she has not done uh, much. She learned um, this programming language called uh, Scratch, it's not a real, it's like a visual. Scratch, Python. And then oh, she did uh, some boot camp uh, for the summer. She did Python where um, where like they had all the program made up and then you're supposed to just uh, increment something and you know, you don't, <laughs> you don't really <laughs> learn anything. You just a waste of time. <laughs> I did create stuff using Scratch. Uh, she's very basic in terms of programming. Uh, not that basic. Uh, yeah, pretty basic, yes. I said not that <laughs> basic. So first of all, before you, you know, start to do this, you need to understand what your kids' interests are. Don't make programming about coding. Um, make programming about having playing and having fun. Uh, because kids have a different objective in life. Uh, they just want to have fun, okay? Uh, if you try to... We're Indians, that, that doesn't exist. <laughs> she said we are Indian, that doesn't exist. <laughs> Having fun. Okay, that's uh, not Very true. <laughs> um, also, with the kids, uh, depends uh, what level they are. Uh, if you try to make, you know, uh, create a project that is a bit silly, um, you know, uh, and something uh, of their own domain. So if they really love like dolls, you know, make a project about dolls. Rather than if you say, oh, I want to, I want to build some um, accounting tool for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so what, what's your, what you, what's your interest? Uh, like, like some classes or? Uh, like w the what do you want to do with the programming? Like, hmm. thought about this. Mm -hmm. Do you like, um, she usually like math. <laughs> when? I actually don't. I don't like math, dad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, My favorite subject in school is lunch. <laughs> <laughs> or okay, that's eating. a news to me. Yeah. I, I like eating <laughs> food. That's how okay, that, that's a bit difficult now. <laughs> we can make burgers using um, using some programming language. Okay, what do you do with a kid who loves eating? Okay, I have to think about it. I have to think about it. Um, or you can use basketball. That counts as PE. Basketball, singing, watching TV, eating, oh, dressing yeah. up. Oh, maybe we can maybe we can do something like this. How many movies you watched on Netflix yesterday? Let's get started. So, what what programming language uh, sh uh, should we pick? And my favorite programming language is JavaScript. So we're gonna do JavaScript for her age. Her 
Python, JavaScript, even Java is fine, but I would start with a little simpler language like Python or JavaScript. All right, guys, so I have my computer here, so I'm gonna show her how to do coding. Uh, Code Playground, where you can actually write your JavaScript and see the result right there next to it. So here I have with me uh, jsbin.com, and uh, here if I just activate J JavaScript and console, let's say, um, you can say console dot log and whatever you try type in inside so I'm just gonna say hi mm -hmm. and it's gonna show hi here mm hmm so whatever you type in between this parenthesis, uh, parenthesis it shows here it shows here okay so that's the first thing you need to know and then you just click here run and it says hi okay so this is our like way to print information that um, that we have. Um, you know, in a, when you do math, and then if you want to add them, you would have you would say two plus three, and math then you could say okay, it's check. five, right? So if I just do two plus three in the console log, what do you think is going to print? Two plus three, which is five. Yes. So if I run this, I get five. <laughs> <laughs> now let's introduce a concept of a variable. Instead of doing 2 plus 3, I'm going to create a variable. Do you know what a variable is? Yeah, any number. So in the math, a variable means number that can change. Really? Right? Like... That is any a, number. Yeah, so like x. Yeah, x is any number. x is any number, right? So yeah. So we can create x. So I'm going to create x here, but in JavaScript, if you want to create a variable, you have to use a special uh, keyword, and it's called let. Let. I would say let x, and then I can use its values. I can say let x equal to 2. So now x equal to, to 2. two. Um, then I can create another one called let y equal three yep she's catching up quickly smart <laughs> hold your horses <laughs> okay so now you can say x plus y yep x and that would equal y. five in here okay we'll see this is very simple stuff okay This is stuff that I would teach to babies. They barely know how to talk, Dad. If I want to print number 1 to 10 here, how would I do that? So, instead of saying, like, you know how in the first one you said, like, console dot uh, log in the parentheses you said hi? Instead, you can say one, and then you can say two, and then you can say three. Or, 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 oh, so, so, no, you can say in the parentheses, maybe you can say one through ten. Can you do that? Uh, no, you can't do that, but it has a similar thing. But the concept is the same. You, you have to say that one, two, ten. Mm. Okay. Uh, so, let's do it. So, we can use... What is it called? For loop. For loop. Yes. So here's how it works. So you would say for. Mm. Um, you will also have to create a variable. I'm going to create an i. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give it a value called 1. Okay. So it starts from 1. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'm going to put semicolon. So that's the how you initialize the variable. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to say... Um, do whatever you need to do until i is less than equal to 10. ten. And then what you want to do, um, you want to increase i 1 every time, right? So if I want to increment do 1 to 10, I have to start with 1. It has to end with 10. And then what am I doing in the middle? I'm incrementing every time by 1, right? So that is done. It would be i plus 1? 
equal to i plus 1. Mm. Okay. So these are different different commands. And, they will and then console block and instead of x, y, I would put i. i. Now, if I run this, voila. Why would you use this kind of thing? So, okay, so from what you're doing right now, I can totally see that people who, the people would use this for math basic, math purposes. So like sometimes when you have like an equation and you're too lazy to solve it, let's say it is x equals 10,000 and then y equals 5,000. So you, instead of sitting and doing that entire math thing on like, you know, on paper, this is kind of like a calculator. So you would tell, uh, tell the JavaScript command, like mm -hmm. let x equal 1,000 and then y equals fi uh, 500. 5,000, and then you would say x plus y, then this here, it's like your result of your calculator, and it would uh, show you the answer. So this is basically like a calculator, a little bit complex. Mm -hmm. It's a calculator, but it's but kind a of a bit. little bit of abstract in a sense. Uh, you can do more on it, like you can make it say hi and everything. Yeah. Let's say I want to add 1 to 10, right? Uh, what I can remember, we did x plus y. So now we can do, um, if I want to add all the numbers together, uh, I already have the numbers, right? So every time this for loop runs, I get one number, mm -hmm. right? So why, if I want to add them, what do you think I should do so that I can, I can get the, uh, the sum of all the numbers? I plus... Two? I plus two? Yeah, because I like, see here you're adding two. And then this would be three and then I know mine. So every time I is no. changing. I plus I. Yeah, similar to I plus I, but so we need we can create a, like a bigger bucket that holds my total. Right? So what I'm gonna do is I can create a let total equal to zero here now this is my bigger bucket that holds my total right now here I know that I'm gonna I'm iterated through one two three four five six seven up to ten right now what I can do here is I can say total equal to total plus I so initially it's zero, the total is zero, then the first number would come in here, so it's zero plus one. So total my, my total is now one, right? Mm. Then what happens is that two comes two in, so my total is now one, oh, so, so it three. adds two to it, and then it adds three to it. And then four. So by, if I, at the end of this for loop, um, if I just console log total, total plus i. No, I just said total. total. This is I'm just printing, because here I'm already adding it, right? So mm. let's clear this. If I run this, now we get fifty-five. Mmm, very nice. <laughs> How do I verify that this is actually working? You use a calculator. No, but calculator. You still have to do all the additions, right? But you can verify. Is there a formula for adding 1 to n numbers? 1 to n numbers. 1 plus n numbers, you mean? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Wait, no, wait. Did they teach you that yet? No, they didn't. Like a sigma n? Oh my god, I don't even know. No? No? Okay. All right, now let, let's look at the resources. What are the resources available uh, uh, for you so you can teach similar thing, things to your kid? And obviously, you don't want to start with JavaScript if your kid is too young. Um, you want to start with Scratch. Um, All right, so here's a programming language developed by MIT called Scratch. And this is a visual programming language. And so what happens is that you can, uh, it has already some created 
So for example, I can pick one of the product that somebody has created. You can, I guess, oh, this is quite nice. So you kind of pick this. So for example, and then that person You can wants... add some cheese. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but it has like a, a simpler game. So like you can create, if you want to, you can create a small game. We can do that. I um, remember this dude. And you have this dude here, this cat. Mm -hmm. and he Does he have Jack. a name? Jack, okay. I named it. It's not so, his name. I think if I want to move with this guy, you can uh, even change the guy. Actually, can I, I should just drop it here or something. Yeah, you just drop it. Yeah, here. so I, I, I'm just gonna drop this, and it says move ten steps. You can change that figure to like whatever number you want. Where it okay. says ten, so I'm just gonna do like to. five steps. Oh, so where, how do I start it? You start by okay. clicking the, this, flag. the screen flag. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it should be working right now. Oh. Oh, I completely forgot. I, I was looking for this. So for that to work, actually, whenever you put a command in, like you pick, oh, and then you need it to has have a starting point. when the flag clicked, which is always in the events. If you want it to run, you always have to have this on the very top of oh, okay. the commands you have. These are called commands, and this is the start button. Oh, that's why. And then you can do that. Your back. So, yes, oh, they're okay. pretty. They're all very slow. Also, there is another resource um, that I forgot to mention is called Code.org, uh, which is really cool, and it has, you know, cool videos. It's there for if you're a teacher, uh, a parent. It has about Minecraft. Minecraft is a very famous game, and that a lot of kids play. <laughs> And it has a full course, as you can see here, for K to, K to 5, 6 to 12, and University Plus as well. So now she's getting tired. <laughs> we're going to have to stop soon. You can, you can redo that, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's stretching a little. But, uh, if you really like this video, uh, feel free to suggest to your friends and families so that they can actually uh, start Get to Learn. And by the way, we, we might do more videos on this. Um, and we might create a project or something in a scratch. Okay, maybe, maybe. we can create a, a, a scratch series. How about that? And I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And if you did, uh, please like, subscribe, and provide a constructive comment. Uh, don't forget to teach your kids programming. Only if they want to learn. <laughs> <laughs> and then subscribe. Yeah, and then do subscribe. Yeah, thank you. Bell Luna Kidu. Huh? Bell, what's Bell? <laughs> You don't know about it? Yeah. Oh my god, so if you subscribe, there's like an icon, like a little a, a little thing, icon or something, I don't, I don't know. And if you click it, you get notified that your video went up. Yeah, uh, whatever she says, do that. So like right next to the subscribe button, there's a bell. If you uh, cl hit that, you get, um, you get notified every time he or anyone uploads a video. <laughs>